Have you ever wondered how your breast milk is made? Well, the glandular tissue in your breast starts to develop when you're about 16 to 20 weeks pregnant. And then one of the first signs of pregnancy is breast tenderness. So it's that start of hormones that start to develop more glandular tissue and differentiate it to get ready for making milk. So all of the milk tissue is deep in your breast, not shallow. And so a lot of people, when they latch their babies shallow, wonder how their babies are getting enough milk. But remember, we don't call it nipple feeding, we call it breastfeeding. So when it, your baby is latched effectively and doing good balance of sucks and swallows, that fast and light sucking pattern, the slow, strong pull, and then the swallows, then that message is going up to your brain. First, your brain will release a hormone called prolactin. That is the hormone that makes breast milk. And then the longer your baby suckles, then your body starts to release the hormone called oxytocin. The oxytocin is this amazing hormone that has so many roles and activities and benefits. But for this video, I'm talking about how it helps you not only make your milk, but get it out. So prolactin makes the milk and then oxytocin acts on that glandular tissue to squeeze those milk making parts and pushes the milk out. So then your milk comes down these branches of the milk ducts and then out your nipple. So just at your nipple, it's only the tubes of the milk ducts. So if your baby was latched shallow, then every press closes off those milk ducts and then every release has to be harder and stronger to get any milk out. In this way, it causes sore nipples and it also means that your baby's not getting as good of a feeding. But if you have your baby latched deeper and off center, so that your nipple points up to the roof of their mouth, then not only do you have better nipple comfort, which is the winning situation, but also that your baby is pressing deep on that glandular tissue. So every press brings milk into their mouth and then every release pulls more in. So it's that interplay between how your baby is suckling, the right message up to your brain, and then how it's acting within your breast. So putting all of those together, that's how your milk is made and how it gets out to your baby.